That's enough. We really don't intend wasting any more time, Delroy. Now, look, I'm not unreasonable. I'll settle for half share. Now, look, Maine. I risked everything to get this gold. It's taken me months. Why should I share it with you? Now, please, it's only a matter of time before we find out where it is. Now, let's have no more trouble. I don't like this sort of thing. Maine, you listen to me. Doesn't matter what you do. I'm not going to tell you where it is. Now that's enough. You hit him too hard. He's dead. <laughs> She was here all the time. Who is she? I was in Rome when I was summoned by the frightened executive of the bank. He was in no way distressed by the death of his president. Only unbalanced accounts could distress Mr. Finch. The man had ink in his veins. Interesting, Mr. Finch, but I'm on holiday here. You're lucky to find me in Rome. You surely, just a moment, please. You surely didn't drag me all the way up here just to look into a, a murder, did you? No, there's something much bigger involved. All right, what is bigger than murder, Mr. Finch? Delroy was directly responsible for a large reserve of gold being held in Rome as part of our NATO contribution. Five million dollars worth. That gold is now missing, Mr. Drake. A respectable banker for 25 years, then he suddenly embezzles $5 million, and he never even had a chance to spend it, did he, Mr. Finch? That gold must be recovered, Mr. Drake. I wonder what made him do it. You know, that amount of gold, Mr. Finch, must weigh over a ton. How did he get it out? Well, he was president of the bank. It, it's our guess that he took it over a period of time. Over a period of time. Thank you, Mr. Finch. Very interesting. What's in here? The uh, bedroom? Mm -hmm. Oh, is he married? Yes, but his wife lives elsewhere. Now, this is Rome, Mr. Drake, not New England. Well, it happens in New England, too, you know, Mr. Finch. Uh, uh, made by Scarlatti. Uh, you don't mind if I borrow these, do you, Mr. Finch? I'd like to speak to the proprietor, Scarlatti. Uh, I'm Scarlatti. Well, my name is Drake, John Drake. Yes? It's kind of personal. Oh, excuse me, Signora Lydia. Pardon me. This way, Mr. Drake. Thank you. Well, now, what is it that's kind of personal, Mr. Drake? These clothes were made here? Yes. I wonder if you could tell me who they were made for. That may not be so easy. Well, they all belong to the same woman. I'd be obliged if you could remember. Just a moment. This green dress, the hemline was altered. Yes, I remember What was the her name? I'm afraid I don't remember. But you must have it on record somewhere. Just what is your interest in this woman? Well, a good friend of hers has died. It's important that I contact her. Do you recall what she looks like? Vaguely. She was blonde, rather pretty, with a good figure. Her measurements were... About 110 pounds, figure 36, 24, 36. Oh, you're very perceptive, Mr. Drake. Just a moment. Ah, yes. Lucio. Signorina Lucio. Any address? Uh, Via Ciavelli, 52. Via Ciavelli, 52. Thank you. Will you be staying long in Rome, Mr. Drake? Oh, that depends on how long it takes me to find this lady. Well, may I wish you the best of luck? You may. Here we are, Signor. Number 52, Via Civelli. But it's not built yet. It's still number 52. Well, we can't wait for it to be finished, can we? Let's go back. Shall we? <laughs> Good morning. I'd like to see Mrs. Delroy. My name is Drake. Oh, Mrs. Delroy is resting. 
Well, this is rather important, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Who is it, Maria? There is a gentleman named Drake, Signora. Try him in. Thank you. Mr. Drake, Signora. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Drake. Do you have a first name? John. John Drake. Fine, John. Make yourself comfortable. It would be simpler if you sat here. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? It's about your husband, Mrs. Delroy. Stella. Huh? Stella. Mm, you have blue eyes. Clear blue eyes. It's to do with his death, Mrs. Delroy. And you're expecting to find a grief-stricken widow, hmm? It wouldn't have surprised me. Frank and I haven't meant anything to each other for years. We just uh, kept up a pretense for his sake, mainly. He was a banker. It's a respectable profession. Now he's dead. I'm not glad. I'm not sorry. I'm just completely unmoved. You understand? Let's have a drink. Just how moved or unmoved you are by your husband's death, Mrs. Delroy, is entirely your business. My main concern is to find the gold that he stole. Gold? Are you suggesting Frank stole gold? Your husband was entrusted with $5 million worth of bullion. Now it is missing. Oh, this is ridiculous. You're joking. He was planning to leave the country when he was murdered. But why? We can only guess. Oh, this is surprising. Come sit down, tell me more. Obviously, Frank had qualities I never knew about. <laughs> Look, I'll make a deal with you. Have a drink with me, and then I'll help you all I can. Did you ever see this dress before, Mrs. Delroy? Or this one? Oh, should I? Or this? Well, they were all made by Scarlatti. Oh, that explains it. Is that second-rate little shop on the Condotti? Well, the cut and material are expensive. <laughs> not quite my style. Oh, maybe not. Uh, do any of your friends use Scarlatti's shop, Mrs. Delroy? Now, why bring my friends into this? Well, your husband was murdered in an apartment on the other side of Rome, Mrs. So? Delroy. There was evidence that he was sharing that apartment with a woman. Now, you do surprise me, John. Never knew Frank had that much initiative. I'm sorry, Mrs. Delroy. I thought perhaps that you might know the woman, that she might be uh, an acquaintance of yours or a friend, perhaps. A friend? Really? With Frank? Thank you, Mrs. Delroy. Oh, you're, uh, you're not leaving. Look, we made a deal. You were going to have a drink with me. You made the deal, Mrs. Delroy. I'm obliged. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, well, thanks for calling. Uh, anything you want, just drop in. Come in. I was told you might be... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in Oh, that's all right, Mr. Drake. Come in. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Ah, uh, Miss Scarlatti, that address you gave me in the Via Trevelli? Yes. I went there. It, um, isn't built yet. Isn't built yet? But I don't understand. Are you sure you gave me the right address? Well, I think so. We can soon check. Let's have a look. Yes. Via Trevelli, 52. She probably gave a false name, too. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. After you'd gone, I started thinking about her. There was always something strange about her. Oh, in what way? Oh, little things. She always paid by cash, never checked, no matter how large the amount. She never had her orders delivered, always picked up by messenger. Well, I can think of reasons for that. She often arrived with a man, but he never once came into the shop. What did he look like? Oh, I couldn't be certain. He always sat out in the car. Middle-aged, not unattractive. And him? Yes, that could be him. Mr. Drake, if I were you, I wouldn't bother to try and find this girl. I don't think she was very nice. I never trusted her. She was hard. She gave a false address. Everything about her was false. Who knows where she'll be now? So she was not a nice girl? I don't think so. Well, thanks for the warning. Bye, Miss Scarlatti. <laughs> Senor, 
for a moment, please. I wonder, could you, could you tell me, uh, do you know this man? He used to live in an apartment across the street. Oh, uh, yes. This gentleman has come here several times. With a lady? But of course, always with that same lady. What was she like? Oh, we are very fond of her. She's so kind, so gay, she makes us laugh. Are you sure we're speaking about the same person? Oh, yes. This lady, she come in here with that gentleman, the American. What does she look like? Oh, she's very nice. Uh, blonde, of course. Of course not. She's dark. She's a true Roman. She was dark? Oh, and her eyes? Oh, her eyes. They are so kind. Very kind. Okay. Excuse, senor. Would you permit me to make a sketch of you? It will only take a few moments. Oh. An excellent likeness. Oh, thank you. Very much. Uh, for you, a special offer, senor. Only 500 lira. Look, I've already told you. Oh, just a minute. For 1,000 lira, senor, I do the sketch in color. In color? Oh. You have a fine head, senor. Well, tell me, how often do you work in this restaurant? Oh, two, three times a week. I think we do it in profile. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's not my picture I want. Tell me, do you know this man? Yes, senor. He comes here very often. Uh-huh. Was he with anyone? <laughs> but of course, senor, always with a young lady of exquisite features. Very charming. Do you know her name? No, senor. Oh, well, perhaps you sketched her. <laughs> Better than that, senor. She sketched me. It's just a sort of joke, you see. The lady, she takes my pad and uh, makes a sketch of me. <laughs> very good, eh? Oh, it's very good indeed. I seem to recognize the style, and it's signed with a G. Do you mind if I have this? Oh, senor, it's of great sentimental value to me. But for you, my heart is large. I like you. It is yours, senor. A gift. I'm obliged. <laughs> Artist, same style, and the G in the corner, identical. <laughs> Looks like you could be right, Rick. Oh, it was painted by his girlfriend, all right. Uh, excuse me, sure. His girlfriend. I wonder why she's never shown up. Could be a dozen reasons. Of course, she could be dead. Well, whatever's happened to her, we've got to find her. Someone must know who painted this picture. His wife? Mm, I'll check. She's uh, not very cooperative, but I'll do what I can. All right. Mr. Drake, come in. Oh, uh, just passing. I thought I might take you up on that drink. Tony Maine, John Drake. Hello. I'll get you that drink. How do you do? Neat. Well, that could be too strong for Mr. Drake. <laughs> we never demoralized anyone. Thank you. Me too. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a little um, picture I bought myself. Do you like it? If you like that sort of thing. Why, what's the matter with it? Oh, it's pretty pretty. Mr. Drake is looking into Frank's death. Is that so? Having any luck? Oh, it certainly seems to interest Mr. Maine. Do, do you know the artist? No, but I know the picture. You do? Well, one very much like it. Uh, Frank used to keep one in his study here. Uh, you remember, Stella? Oh, yeah, it was something like that. I didn't like it. I wouldn't have it in the apartment. I'm sorry you feel like that about it. I like it. Another drink, Mr. Drake. No, thank you. Oh, it's a pity. I, I still like it. Goodbye, Mr. Delroy. Goodbye, Mr. May. Well, call again. I always enjoy your visits. What, what was all that about? That picture was never in Frank's study. Drake never bought it either. He got it from Frank's other apartment. That's where I saw it. The last time he came here, he questioned me about dresses. It all adds up. He's looking for Frank's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. 